Hi folks, this is Professor CC19, and before we get to the main part of today's video, which is day 10 of the 15 days of Christmas countdown, I have a brief yet important announcement in regard to the new feature in Candy Crush Saga, the chocolate box, which I covered in a video earlier. Now, there was a bit of misleading information presented there, something I didn't quite understand and I think is kind of misleading from King. And I told you in that video earlier, if you've seen it, to come back in so you could see me claim the prize and see if it changes. Well, now I don't even know if this is going to recur. I think it will, but it could be actually a one-time event in Candy Crush Saga because every individual color, every indiv uh, individual mission color, where we had yellow, red, blue, and we also had to collect green to get our reward, Every single one of them is considered a quest. And in the information tab, it says you can complete three quests per day. That does not mean you can collect three rewards. It means you can get three quarters of the way to one reward. So I think that's very important to throw out there. I was not intentionally trying to mislead anyone. And I'm hoping that King wasn't either. But yes, you cannot earn multiple rewards in one day. I'm not entirely certain if this is a recurring event. Hopefully it will be so we can get more rewards, but as of right now, today, December 20th, 2019, you can only get three quarters of the way to one reward in the chocolate box in one day. So for day 11, you will see if this is a recurring feature. But let's get back to the main content for today's video. Hi, this is Professor CC19. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Today is December 20th, 2019, day 10 of the 15 days of Christmas countdown. And today we're playing level 1395 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 24 moves to clear out 22 jelly. And this is a hard level. One that I'm definitely going to bring in a booster to, and the booster is going to be the fish. I'll explain why in a minute. But before we get started, I put out new videos almost every day, and for this holiday special, it is every day. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Now, this board has a smiley face hidden right in the center, the two eyes, the nose, and kind of the mouth across the bottom. But it's more of a smirk, because this level is hard for a reason. We have kind of isolated notches and an unusually shaped main board, and then meringue frosting blocking some more jelly that's isolated, plus we have ticking time bombs that will be set at 5 slash 4 based on the way they're dropped coming onto our main board. And those are big threats on a board with only uh, a board with five colors. Um, it would actually be much better if we had only four colors for this board. The fish will come in handy to handle these isolated regions. I don't want to open up the marmalade right away, but I have to eventually because there's jelly underneath. So hopefully if I clear out most of the double thick jelly on the main board, the fish will know to target these isolated difficult areas to reach. Plus, the fish become part of the candy mix, so we'll hopefully see more than one, and they can help with the cleanup stage on the level. So what I want to try and do is clear as much jelly as possible, as quickly as possible, before I bring any bombs onto the board. Plus, the more easy jelly I clear, the more likely our fish is to go to the difficult areas. Now, I'm kind of tempted to take the fish out right now because we have a beautiful setup with the green for color bomb, two and two. Before I do that, I'm gonna see if I can work my way around that. That's good, a striped candy. Now the question is, should I work and take out a layer of marmalade now, bringing bombs onto the board? Or should I scoot it aside and clear out this isolated area and then rely on the fish? Well, I think I'm gonna send off the fish either way. And I'm gonna send it off right now because I would like to make a color bomb with the green. Should it stick around? It didn't. And we got another fish also. That's good. But none of that really went according to plan. That didn't work out. Uh, now we have a ticking time bomb that's set at five. All right, so I have a few options. I can make a wrap with the green, a stripe with the green in the middle. Oh, let's make a wrapped with the green. I need to get some more red near that 
ticking time bomb that is oh so dangerous set at three. I like how I'm clearing out the rest of the jelly though. Oh dear, we need something to get near that ticking time bomb very soon. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is even going to be possible. Two moves. Oi, oi, oi. That was a horrible start. All right, so that's a failure. You're going to see this. It's the more, uh, more of the proof that I'm human and more proof that this level is very difficult. So I made the wrong decision, something that might have been inevit uh, inevitable, but obviously the wrong combination for that moment. So let's jump in again. I'm going to keep the fish, see if we can get this done on second on-camera take. This is more than my second take off-camera. All right, so I like the two and two with the red. Unfortunately, there's an empty space in between them. Um, I like maybe setting up for a green stripe. But what I would like more is to save that fish. So I'm going to make a red stripe instead, green wrapped. Now the fish is still intact, but I also have a stripe wrap combo. That stripe wrap combo is so perfectly positioned, I don't think I could ask for a better position. It will strike both sides off along the edges and the corners, which are also quite difficult. And it will remove both marmal uh, both, why do I keep calling it marmalade? Both meringue frosting. I want to see, is there anything else I can do before I send that off that will not risk it, will not maybe cause it to go away? Let's see. I don't want to dance around it too much. And I think that's as far as I'm willing to go. So we're going to send off the fish and take out a lot of jelly. Here we go. Another fish, yet again, living up to its name, becoming part of the candy mix. And just like that, we're down to seven jelly. This is a much better setup. Probably my best board I've seen. We can reach into that isolated area. We can... Oh... Should I make this stripe? I'm trying to see. If I make that purple stripe, can I send it off to take out the bomb? I think I can. Um, so we're going to make a vertical stripe with the purple. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, this might actually be a close call once again, but I think I can still get it done. Let's drop the green down. There we go. Just in the nick of time there. Nice. The orange was taken out in the cascading. This jelly was taken out in the cascading, so we're down to two. One up here, very difficult. One over here, also quite difficult. It's all going to come down to how this board works with me. And I think I can set things up to take out the top one, making a match with the red. We have a stripe with the green. Just need to find a way to send it off. And also, we can ignore the bombs if we have a way to beat the level before the bomb goes off. So, still going to keep an eye on that. In fact, why not? We can take it out. And it's... <laughs> How did that not get taken out? We got a wrapped candy, but it didn't get taken out. We have another fish. I think we can beat the level, if not now, on the next turn. Um... <laughs> I know we're going to beat the level. It's just a matter of when. Um, well, now it's on the next turn. There we go. We send off the fish. It's going to target our jelly. All right, so that's how we beat level 1395. Not with the greatest score. It's actually kind of difficult to get a good score on this level. But on the second try on camera, playing with a good board and with good strategy, the use of one booster, the fish is the way to go. So that is day 10, five days to go, including our finale Christmas Day on uh, level 1400 something very special. Tune in for that. If you found this video helpful and or fun, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any other level of the game, leave a comment below. I'll try and help you. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great Christmas.